Hello, hello. Welcome to another inspiration vlog. As you can guess, I haven't been really inspired lately. It's February here. It is really dark and gloomy once again. And if you're new here, I'm like a full-time wedding photographer. So my season starts in April this year. And that means I have a lot of spare time. And I also work as a freelance uh, social media manager i guess at the printmaking studio that you'll see me working at in my other videos but that's only for like three hours a week and i'm also like i've studied illustration so i like to do that as well and for this winter i had really plans to focus on my illustrations but for some reason it didn't really happen and i have also lost my sojo if you're watching my videos you'll probably watch them for my sewing videos and I just haven't been sewing anything. Anyway, plan for today is I'm going to go and visit two museums today. Of course, as always, a botanical garden because I love them. And I really want to go to a niche museum that you don't really visit that often here in the Netherlands. But they have an exhibition about Yayoi Kusama, a Japanese artist that you may know with her many, many dots, her infinity rooms, or um, pumpkins. I saw them once in uh, Aoshima, great Japanese island. That's the plan for today. It's gonna be quite a long day with lots of train rides.
So yesterday it was so much fun. I had such a great time. I was really, really, really tired though when I came home because, well, I did a lot of things. <laughs> And I wasn't really happy with my sketch that I made of the big hibiscus that I saw in the botanical garden. It was such a beautiful, beautiful garden. I really love it. I always go there. Um, anyway, the hibiscus flower, it was so big. I'm not sure if I've shown you how big it was, but it was like this big. It was huge. It was so beautiful, very flowy, and for some reason, very inspiring to me. But I'm really having a hard time getting the flowy think of it <laughs> on paper so I've been thinking I'm going to try and make a print of it because tonight is the monthly printmaking evening at the printmaking studio where I also work it is called Drugsavond which is a joke in the Netherlands Drugs you know you can write it with a G or with a K and with a K it's like prints I guess sort of <laughs> anyway uh, hard to explain. Thing is, it is a monthly evening where you can just come and go and you only have to pay for materials and you can, you know, grab a beer for a euro or so or tea or whatever you like. And it's very fun. I've been going there for years and it's really been the reason for me that I still make things and that I found my love for printmaking because I didn't really develop that at art school. I think it wasn't really pushed and the motivation wasn't really there, but also from the teachers. And so I realized I really love printmaking after many years after art school. And it's definitely thanks to these evenings. So I still go there every month, unless I go on holiday or what, something important. But I don't plan anything else on those evenings because I want to go printmaking. I still have a few hours left. It's been a bit of a stressful day today. I had to do things like find a new bookkeeper, one is calling me in 10 minutes, so I hope it's going to be the answer. I mean, you know, being a business owner can be quite stressful. And I think admin, admin is the most stressful thing to me. But uh, yeah, it's not all fun and games. A sketch in Procreate. I added a little hummingbird because I think they really like the, these flowers. And all the, also it's got a little empty, just a flower. And I'm gonna mirror this and then hopefully sketch on it on a sinking plate and sketch something with a permanent marker and then scratch on it. And I'm gonna show you the details later and also I'm gonna need some lights because it's getting really really dark in here. <laughs> it's a really really gloomy day and uh, yeah just another part of the video. A little printmaking, hopefully. Fingers crossed.